Hey guys, Lucid Hell here, and on today's Lucid Chat, we're going to talk about the possible minimum wage raids. Now, uh, I'm going to start this off by saying it is the biggest fucking mistake that America can make. Alright, and there are going to be a million people, probably fucking 10 billion people. I don't fucking care. Y'all can all argue with me. It's dumb. It is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life, okay? Let me explain something to you. That most people who are for the minimum wage raise do not understand. Okay? Now, for instance, McDonald's, who are wanting to raise their fucking minimum wage from, what, seven twenty-five, seven fifty, all the way up to $15 a fucking hour? Are you kidding me? Okay? Now, you double, basically, minimum wage there. Uh... Every single thing on the menu gets doubled in price to make up for the pay. Okay? Not to mention probably, oh, I don't know, four or five employees are going to get fired just so the rest of the employees get paid correctly. Yeah. You think that's real fair? Oh, yeah. We raised the minimum wage. We had to lose, like, you know, half our workforce to pay because we doubled the fucking pay. And, oh, all the prices went up, so great, right? all worth it, right? Yeah. No. no. For instance, another company that's doing a pay raise right now, Walmart. Now, Walmart's, you know, not going too nuts. They're not going to $15 an hour like idiots like that. $10. Okay, they're wanting to go to $10 by February next year. Now, let me explain something to you. Alright? There are people who work for Walmart. There are people who work there and make more than $10 an hour already. And all the people that are coming in. Now, Walmart starts their employees at $9 an hour. Okay? $9 an hour to $10 an hour. Now, if somebody, say, was working there for two years or so and managed to get up to $10 an hour, somehow, magically, they got from $9 to $10 in two years. And then they raise it to $10. Guess what? Guess what that guy gets? Nothing. He's back to minimum wage. He's back making what everybody else who just started is making. You think that's fair? That ain't fair. Somebody works their ass off and then people come in and get the exact same amount of pay? No. No. If you're going to raise everyone else's pay, then you make up the difference from what they've gotten in raises. That's the right thing to do. If you're taking people who are starting at 9 and raising them to 10, that person who went from 10 or got, you know, up to 10 goes to 11. That is fair. Now, let's continue this thought process to the outcome of prices worldwide, not really worldwide, but countrywide, if the federal minimum wage gets raised to $11 an hour or some crap like that. Great! Everybody's making more money! Hooray! But all the prices on everything you want to buy has just gone up. Why? Why did it go up? I don't understand. It's because everyone has to pay their employees more now. Which means that they have to, you know, charge more to, in order to pay for the people to get their, you know, paycheck. Crazy, right? You know, what you pay affects what they make. And vice versa, what they make affects what you pay. Now, uh, okay, there's a thing going around stating that, oh, you don't think that the fry cook behind the counter standing over those boiling vats of oil on their feet all their shift deserves $15 an hour? No, they don't. You know how I know? I did that job. Okay, and I'm going to tell you what I made, alright? I started at my job at a fast food restaurant at $7.50 an hour. 
Now, I was there for almost two years. The most I ever made, $8 an hour. Yeah, that's right, eight, that's it. Now, granted, at times I was working, you know, anywhere from 40 to 60 hours a week. That's right, I worked 60 hours a week before while I was going to school, mind you. Yeah, try that. Try going to school, working 60 hours a week at $8 an hour. You finally get some money in your pocket. Well, that was great whenever I was living with my folks, you know? Great whenever I didn't have bills, like cell phone, you know, like my cable, my internet, my rent, all that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me. Kids, if you're watching, adulthood sucks. Don't be ready for it. Well, be ready for it, but don't want it. Just don't. You don't want it. You really don't. Because, you know, bills suck. So, uh, on other topics here. Um, yeah, so, you know, most I ever made $8 an hour. Would I say that the job was worth it? No. <laughs> it wasn't. But then again... That job is not meant to support people who, you know, are adults, who are trying to, you know, live on their own. That's not a job meant for that kind of life. Fast food jobs are really, you know, mostly for a person who has to have a second part-time job or a teenager in high school who needs a little extra cash because mommy and daddy are paying for everything anyways. Okay? It is not meant as a first come job, you know, first income job. It is not supposed to be your primary source of income. Because, I'll be honest, ain't worth it. It just ain't. Um, I, you know, if you have any other options besides a fast food restaurant, please, please, for the love of God, take that other option. I still would not, like, to go back. To any fast food restaurant ever. Now, back to the subject. Do they deserve $15 an hour? No, they don't. Do they deserve $11 an hour? No, they don't. You know why? Because if you want that as your primary job, if you want that as your primary job, you have bigger issues. Okay? You either A, need to get your GED, B, shouldn't have fucking broke the law, or C, just need to get your shit and priorities together because you fucked up somewhere. Okay? This is not okay. This is not. Okay? $15 an hour for flipping fucking burgers and dropping fries in a fryer. Okay, if McDonald's starts paying that, I'm going to work for McDonald's. You know why? Because I'm not going to eat there anymore. <laughs> all their dollar menu stuff? Get ready to pay regular menu prices for that stuff. And all the regular menu prices stuff? You might as well go to a fucking five-star restaurant. That's how much the prices probably will raise. It's ridiculous. It is unnecessary ridiculous. So, if y'all want to argue with me, you can argue with me in the comments. You can email me. My email is lucidhellvlogs at gmail.com. Feel free to email me any argument you have. I'll be glad to come back with you. And, no, I'm not going to sit here and just say, oh, no, your point's invalid. Oh, you're stupid. No, I'm not going to do that. And I would respect it if y'all didn't either. Okay? If y'all want to have an honest-to-God conversation with me, you put down a real point and I will discuss it with you okay this will be a back and forth adult conversation between me lucid hell and you the viewer you know and I'm not gonna sit here and just say oh I'm right because it's my video you know I really want y'all to try and convince me that I'm wrong I want y'all to Really convince me that this is for the best interest of, you know, the U.S. I want y'all to convince me that it's for the best interest that we raise our minimum wage.
Because right now, I don't see it being a good idea. I really don't, okay? Now, that being said, I really hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. Let me know. If you didn't, then you can hit the dislike button. You can leave a mean comment. You can email me a death threat. I don't really care, okay? All I know is that raising the minimum wage is stupid. And America shouldn't do it. That's my opinion. Okay, this is all an opinion. Okay, I'm I'm gonna put there's gonna be the disclaimer at the front of the video that y'all have already seen because I put it there. This is an opinion. Okay, it's not a fact. It's an opinion. But it's also logical thought process that whenever Pay goes up, prices go up. And then we're in the same spot as we were. You know, seven twenty five and the candy bar at the store is a dollar ninety eight or something like that. You go up two times that, then you go back to the gas station to buy another candy bar, and here it is at five dollars for a freaking candy bar. The same candy bar that probably costs ten cents back nineteen. 40, something like that. I don't know, guys. I'm not from the 1940s. I'm only 20 years old. Okay? I'm only 20. From 1995, 20 years old. That's all I know. So, like I said, if you want to disagree with me, that's fine. If you want to have a conversation about it, I will. If you want to try and convince me, that's great. But this is my opinion. And... That's all I have to really say. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Lucid Hell. I'll see you all in the next video. See you guys.